Hey, welcome to this new Houdini Solaris tutorial, uh, which is especially designed for beginners. So it's called Houdini Solaris for beginners. And I want to introduce myself first of all. So for all the people who probably never heard about me, my name is Alexander Weide and I am, I was born in Germany in 1984. And with 12 years, I started to dive into 3D and 3D graphics. Back then, I had the dream to do my own films. And this passion for creating 3D art has never stopped. And later, I moved into proper education to learn all the skills for design, colors, and so on. And moved over to learn Houdini. I came in contact with Houdini for the first time back in 2006 or when I had a small trainee position at the production of In Peace Island 2 here in Germany. It was one of the largest uh, film productions back then in Germany for Konstantin film and yeah the biggest thing that I learned is that artists help each other and artists can support each other in various ways. And this tutorial um, should be some part of this helping culture. Um, I want to take away the fear of the Houdini Solaris pipeline or of the USD pipeline, which is be which is the core of Houdini Solaris. And I had fears myself. I don't want to dive into it because it was over complex and constantly changing. But since Houdini 19, I think it's the right time to dive into it. I, I want to show in this tutorial how easy it can be to dive into um, the USD pipeline and I will demonstrate it with uh, the core render engine of um, Pixar, which is RenderMan. And Re RenderMan is tightly integrated into the USD pipeline since USD itself was developed by Pixar too. And the great thing is that this tutorial is not just providing videos and a, a bunch of uh, demonstrations. This entire tutorial series comes also with a lot of assets that I have built in the last six months. Nature assets. So in the second or yeah, probably in the third part of this tutorial, I will show you what you can do with those trees, stones. I, I built a tremendous amount of assets, including hero assets for the foreground and all in the context of environmental rendering. I hope you will have fun with this tutorial and when you have any question or when you don't understand something, you can always leave a comment and or you can write uh, um, to me. I have a side effects account as well as I'm on Behance. And yeah, I think you will find me and then you can ask me directly or you can also join the random man discord and there you can find me and can ask me whatever you want in in the context of this tutorial and 3d and houdini so i think we are ready to start into the first chapter